Hi there, Jeff here from Sorted, just giving you a whistle-stop tour of the FCS2 range for 2023. Uh, worth mentioning, uh, with these fins, in each style of fin, there are the option of small, medium and large. And there's also the option of different construction of the fin, depending on your budget as well. I'm going to pass you over to Dino, who's going to talk you through each fin and who it would be best for. OK, we're starting off with the Performer fin from FCS. So this is their best-selling fin. Um, it's available in three different constructions, the cheapest being glass flex, under £40. Then we've got the Eco Blend here, just under £70, and Performance Core, which is just under £100. Okay, so this fin, why is it a good all-rounder? Pretty much good for everyone. It's because it's got a nice base. It hasn't got too much rake in it, so it's not going to give you too much of a drawn-out turn. That means you can still get that turn around nicely, and it gives you a bit of acceleration as well. So this is a real good all-round fin. If you're not sure which one to go for first, probably the Performer. Okay, up next, we've got the Carver fin, which is available in two constructions. We've got the Eco Blend under 70 pounds, and we've got the PC under 100 pounds. So this fin, as you can see, it's got a bit more rake to it. So what that is gonna give you is a more powerful drawn out turn. So a great fin if you're surfing bigger waves with bigger open faces, and that is the Carver. Up next, we've got the reactor fin. So again, available in the Eco Blend and also in the PC. So this fin, as you can see, is a lot more upright. It's also quite wider throughout the whole fin. And that is because it's such an upright fin to give you those nice, dynamic, tight, pivoty turns. But we still want a bit of width there to give you a bit of hold through. OK, so if you're looking to get a bit more upright and snappy, get the reactor. Up next, we've got the FCS Accelerator Fin. So this fin is really good if you're living somewhere that's got a very fast down the line wave and you want to just get lots of speed and get in as many short, fast, snappy turns as you can. The Accelerator is also available in the two constructions. We have the Eco Blend here, good price point and slightly better for the planet. And then we've got the PC here, which is a lot more reactive, responsive and cuts down the weight on the board. So if you've got a down the line wave, you want to get on the accelerator. OK, so essentially that is the core range from FCS2. Obviously, you've got lots of different signature models within the uh, FCS range, ranging from like Cabo Andinos, you've got Jerry Lopez Finn, you've got Toledo's, and you've also obviously got the Mick Fanning range as well. Things to look out with those are, again, just going to be the rake of the fin, the width of the base, how upright it is. That's going to determine its performance in varying waves and suiting your ability as well. Um, so we'll look out for other videos we're going to do specific to a individual fin but essentially that's everything you really need to know about the core range of the FCS models.